Hi everyone. As you know, we have a Patreon page now at patreon.com slash stranger things in the 1980s. Patreon subscribers at every level get early access to all episodes as they release, and patrons at the Hellfire Club level get access to exclusive bonus episodes. This is a sample of one of those episodes. If you like what you hear, head over to patreon.com slash stranger things in the 1980s. Thanks for listening. strangers welcome back this is our first commentary episode for patreon patrons this is the first time we're doing this so i don't know how well it's gonna work or how well it's gonna turn out but we'll give it a go so we are recording a commentary for the classic fourth of july holiday film jaws so everyone want to go ahead and introduce yourselves I guess I'll start. Uh, my name is Kelly Coffey. I teach uh, college composition at Delta College. My class is always is also a kind of pop culture theme. So I, when we go over um, movies, um, I'm always showing a clip of Jaws. And I'm a sometime filmmaker as well. Nice. My Hi. name is... Oh, go ahead, Amy. <laughs> my name is Amy Schmidt. I'm an English professor at uh, Marshalltown Community College in Iowa. Uh, I teach everything from composition to literature, and recent this summer, actually, I picked up my very first introduction to films class, which has oh, been nice. exceptional fun. Like, it's just the best thing ever. Jaws is used as samples of all kinds of different filmmaking techniques, right? So when you had invited us to, to do this commentary, I was super geeked. So very excited to be here. Awesome. And Jason. Hi, I'm Jason Sloggy. I am a adjunct professor of history at Delta College, and Jaws is definitely one of my favorite movies. Awesome. So yeah, longtime listeners of the podcast should be familiar with pretty much everyone here. So, Okay, I'm assuming everyone has seen Jaws before, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, there might be a little bit of lag because we're all watching the movie separately. I like this three-tier cast. Yes, I, this is the first it's time that I Hollywood. ever noticed. And this it's is the first time I ever. Thing. It is. This is the first time I ever noticed that the um, the your our traditional da 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 is this early in the film. Yeah, like it's part of the opening credits. It's great. So one thing I, I think is really interesting or cool about the movie is it's sort of groundbreaking in so many different ways. So like this beginning here, it, it begins like a classic uh, slasher movie. You know, you have the, the young people on the beach, you know, smoking weed, drinking, skinny dipping. It's the classic slasher movie setup, right? Except I think this is the first movie to do it. Sure. Yeah, I mean, as you know, especially like on a in a beach setting, and I mean, you know, if you look at like the like the early '70s stuff, like something like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think it just starts with kids in the van, right? Mm -hmm. And then they're yeah. just going to do a, um, they're on a trip, and um, so yeah, I think you're right. I mean, now it's a cliche, but and right. it, yeah, is this yeah. really the first film to do it? May very well yeah. be. I might Google that. I yeah. seriously, I might Google that. Okay. I mean, I know Halloween is often recognized as one of the first slasher movies, right? But this this is nineteen seventy five, so it predates that. Yeah.
Stranger Things in the 1980s is produced by Dread Pirate Productions. Cover art is by Sherry Archer. The theme music is Cobalt by Alex Bloxham, used under license from Filmstro. You can support this podcast, ask questions, or give topic suggestions by going to patreon.com slash stranger things in the 1980s.